Hi, I'm Lee Ross and thanks for watching Theatre News. Lee Ross, it's great to see you. Feeling good today? Yeah, a little, little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, good. Excellent. Good. Uh, you've joined the cast here playing Hugo and uh, Loco Chanel and everybody's talking about Jamie. How are you finding the parts? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, a real, uh, real challenge. And um, I'm about 60 shows in now. Yeah. So I think I'm finally finding my feet. It was quite a baptism of fire because only a three weeks rehearsal to play two different characters, yeah, yeah. learn two songs, so I've got two solo songs in the show, and plus all the dance routines at the end. So I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was really tough. He's done a great tough job, I was down there last week, and uh, he seemed to have slipped into the role quite easily. Yeah, well now, yeah, took a, took a little yeah. while, you know, but I mean, all things do, you know. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it now. Yeah, it's cracking. Yeah, well, I mean, you got crowd reaction was it yeah. seems like amazing every night i guess every night yeah stand innovations every night it's just the the, the only difference is the decibel levels <laughs> sometimes you actually feel that the roof is going to come off it is so loud and then other nights it's just really loud <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like pfft. yeah it's great yeah absolutely i mean dan gillespie sells and tom mccray wrote a wonderful soundtrack was it easy to connect with the with your songs yeah i think the music is is second to none I was really, yeah, really, um, really pleasantly surprised at the score and the book and yeah, I mean, just fantastic. I mean, someone told me that it's their first musical as well. Yeah. I was like, well, that's just incredible. <laughs> there isn't a Duff song in the show, you know. Absolutely, absolutely not. brilliant. Yeah. And got pedigree with, with the band The Feet. Yeah. Were you, uh, you a fan of those? I, I, I was never uh, like into them uh, but I'd, I'd sort of heard of them I'm sort of much more sort of old school kind of soul and funk man really yeah. I go way 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 back Excellent. so it's quite but I mean you know I still think it's absolutely brilliant what he does you know yeah yeah absolutely maybe he's certainly got a talent yeah well is, is joining the cast sort of an established cast sort of easier or harder do you think than uh, starting at the start yeah it, it, it can be you, you feel like a bit of a square peg in a round hole to start with because it's such a well-oiled machine yeah you know um but the cast are just they, they were really open and open-hearted and and what was really nice as well was that they quickly realized that i was going to make hugo and loco chanel my own you know i wasn't going to fit into anybody else's version of it so I, I, I've, I suspect that can be quite difficult for some people who are just used to doing the same, yeah. you know, all the time. But they were absolutely brilliant with that and really welcomed me with open arms. How many times did you see the show then? I just saw it at once. Oh, really? I went, for, I went for my first meeting with Johnny, the director, and I got a really good vibe. And I thought, I just want to go and see this show. I didn't even ask for a free ticket. I just went on off my own accord. And I just thought, I want a bit of that, <laughs> <laughs> basically, you know. Oh, it's a superb show. I mean, it's yeah. perfectly set as well to resonate with young minds. Was that an element that sort of drew you in? Yeah, well? I mean, yeah, the courage of youth and, the, you know, uh, it was definitely something. And, and also that lovely thing of how the generations meet, because Hugo uh, stroke Loco Chanel, very much old school of another generation. And he's completely awoken by this whole new energy and how the world's changing now. It's so fast, it's social media, it's this and that. So I thought the two things locked together so brilliantly. And, uh, and it's just become a celebration of youth. And also it's, it's a working class musical. You know, it's predominantly all about working class families. And that's, that's a very rare thing these days. Yeah, and yeah, something true. that's very, very important, you know? So it doesn't just become a bastion of kind of middle class concerns, you know? It's like hard hitting and working class, which really appealed to me because I'm a working class boy myself, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, when, once you join the cast, do you know instantly if you've got a good team sort of around yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, and I did. Yeah, straight away, really good. So warm and generous, straight away. That's like a, a, a comfort blanket. In oh, it's lovely, and especially with the workload I had. Because, you know, to say I was bricking it is an, understa <laughs> is an understatement because it's a massive challenge for yeah, me yeah. as an actor to pull off playing a, a drag queen and to be believable. I didn't want to just get up there and just be believable within the framework of the show. I wanted to be believed that you could take that character 
and put him anywhere and be believed as a drag queen. Otherwise, it would have just been a, you know, wouldn't be, you know, it's, it's got to be believable. And so that, that, that role was the most, was, that was the challenge for you, was it? That was the real, that was the real big challenge, yeah. Yeah, to pull oh, that off. Pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, how do you warm up for the shows? Well, we do like, um, we do a vocal, we do like, well, I do my yoga mats over there. I do like uh, about a half hour, 40 minutes of yoga every day. And then we do quite a, an extensive vocal warm up, which is about 20, 25 minutes. So it's a good hour of prepping yourself physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. What's it like performing at the Apollo Theatre? Oh, it's cracking, yeah, it's great. I always get that lovely feeling, e even, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many shows you do before you go on, you know, it's f you're going on for the first time. You've got to be fresh, got to be, you've got to hit it with that. You've got to listen. You can't just phone it in, you know. Yeah, a little nervous? Yeah, always. Yeah. Always a little, always concentrate, know what your objectives are, never just walk on and expect yourself to know it by rote you know so you always get that buzz and just stepping out onto a west end theater is a privilege you know yeah no absolutely yeah, i mean you've had a varied it. career across theater tv film what, what have you been your highlight so far oh well this is definitely one of them definitely uh, my first ever job was in musical theater i played fat sam um in the opening company of bugsy malone <laughs> at her majesty's theater back in the 80s show, <laughs> showing me age um, which was a, a massive highlight because it was my first ever job. I'd never acted before, auditioned with like 14,000 kids and ended up getting a leading role, you know. So that was like, stars. that was great. <laughs> I'd say Mike Lee, Secrets and Lies, was a, was a big highlight um, just because the film did so well. It yeah, was yeah, yeah. Oscar nominated and all that kind of thing. And your career just sort of does that for Definitely. the next four or five years. <clears throat> so that was a highlight. Um, yeah, I've worked a lot with my wife. My wife's a theatre director, Jo McInnes, and every time I work with her, that's a highlight. We get on great together. I did a one-man show at the Hampstead Theatre called 36 Phone Calls, which was just me um, on a phone on stage for an hour and a half, which sounds a bit dull, doesn't it? But uh, <laughs> it was actually fantastic, and that was, that was a challenge. And I, and I pulled it off and it was, that was a highlight, definitely. Sounds yeah. like it, excellent. Yeah. I mean, where are you happiest? On stage yeah, or definitely. on camera? Yeah, definitely on stage. Yeah, live, definitely all the way. Yeah. And uh, when you, when, where did you grow up and, and when did you know that you, you know, acting was your part? Oh, I, I never really, I grew up in Luton. Um, my family, none of my family's ever done anything like this. My dad uh, is a welder, my mum. Um, she died a few years ago, but when she was around, she was um, worked in a sweet shop, barmaid. Um, it was the first inkling I had was listening to old Billy Connolly vinyl um, that was coming down from Scotland because all my family's like second generation Scottish. So we used to listen to the, the vinyl and learn the sketches and perform it, and I loved all of that. But singing's always been my thing, really music i got i got into the jam as a 10 year old oh, and it blew my world apart and i stopped watching tv and i just became obsessed with the jam <laughs> and music and a few years later i was fronting my own band and writing my own songs and so that really changed my life much more than acting really always enjoyed films and stuff and i've always because i've always written songs so i've always been a writer ah. more than a kind of performer actor really and acting just sort of came along and i really enjoyed it and i thought well i'd rather do that than welding to be honest with you <laughs> do you know what i mean are you still playing in, in your spare time yeah i do yeah i released a uh, self-released uh, an ep a few years ago oh. uh, and i still i still do little gigs here and there and i still write writing's in me so I wrote a song yesterday on the piano and I continue to write all the time. What sort of style are we talking? I don't know really, it's hard. It's hard to, to sort of put your own music into a box, you know what I mean? But I'd say it's kind of like, you know, it's storytelling, singer-songwriter, quite sort of soul-y, folky, funky. <laughs> Whatever Excellent. you like really, it's all in there I think. <laughs> Great, well, what are your acting ambitions? I don't really have, I'm, I've never been ambitious in that way, just to, uh, I mean, you know, just to do good work and, be, and I suppose just to be recognised as a, 
as a decent character actor. I think it's character acting is what it's all about for me. Is to really to be able to slip into different characters. I'm not into being pigeonholed as playing one kind of thing. So if that's ambition, then it's kind of that to keep, you know, challenging myself yeah. and because fear plays a big part of it, you know. And if a role comes along and you go, oh, that I'm going to be bricking it, then I'll ju I'll jump in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If anything's like, oh yeah, you know what that is. Then, I mean, but you have to take those jobs because you're a job in actor, you've got to pay your mortgage, you've got to do these course, things, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot of the time you find yourself doing stuff that maybe you wouldn't necessarily want to do, do you know what I mean? Being polite about it. <laughs> and, uh, and then gigs like this come along where you just go, oh, you know, thank God for that. Here we yeah, go. This, this is great. Is this is, what it's, all, this is yeah. what it's all about, absolutely. A any other roles lined up already that you know? Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got a few bits and bobs. I'm, I'm busy writing my first, I want to get into some directing. I'm busy writing my own. I'm doing a short film, which is part of a much bigger um, thing that I want to direct. Um, we're making a movie of the play that I did, uh, the one man show. We're doing a movie of that. And um, possibly do, I did a series called uh, White Gold, which was uh, with the kids from the Inbetweeners. Yeah. That was on. Um, possibly that's going to go again. So as if, yeah, a few irons Excellent. in the fire. Plenty of stuff going on. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been an absolute right. pleasure. Why Brilliant. should everybody rush out and come and see everybody talking about Jamie? Because it's, it's, it's full of love. It's joyous. It's beautiful. It's cracking songs. You will never see a better lead performance in a musical as long as you live, in my opinion. John McRae is just phenomenal. And I say that having acted for 35 years. He is extraordinary. And yeah, just for that alone, come along. I agree with you. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Anything yeah. else to say to the theatre uh, news no. viewers? Get off your bums and come along. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very nice much one. indeed. Brilliant. Pleasure. Thanks. Cheers man, nice one. Thank you.